Hey there everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name is Julianne Richards and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Um, this is the first video of my June uh, product class. We're in This month we're featuring the uh, Happiness Abounds stamp set, the um, Blossoming Happiness dies which together go to make the Happiness Abounds bundle and of course the beautiful paper and embellishments that come with the whole suite as well. Um, all together they are called the Hues of Happiness Suite Collection. Um, very much um, one of the most popular bundles of the new catalogue. Uh, we've got three cards to go through today and as usual I'll make three separate videos just so you're not scrolling backwards and forwards if you have to stop and start you'll know each little separate video has a separate card. Uh, we'll start with this one, Ooh, just picked it up wrong, this one here. Um, I actually did this card as part of a video recently, just a standalone video and it was really really popular and I had several people ask me whether I could make it as part of a class. So. You know, uh, that's even better. I don't have to design a different class uh, card for the class, which is even better. So we'll pop and do this one first. Um, it uses the beautiful designer series paper that we've just mentioned here in some lovely uh, oranges and pink colours, which go quite nicely together. Uh, and it's got these two sort of what I've called columns of um, die cuts. You can see it better against the pink there. Um, they're from the... Um, the delicate edges dies, the separate die set from the catalog as well. So uh, lots and lots of people have been interested in those dies. There's four of them there, and this is just one of them. Um, so actually, you can see them there at the back there, sort of stuck to the back of the um, of the the card. Okay, so let's get started. I've already die cut the flowers and the leaves that I need for this one and of course you could really if you wanted to and you have the stamp set at home you could actually sort of uh, uh, stamp colour and die cut some of the original flowers and we will do that for the, uh, a number of the future a number, you know, for a couple of the other cards we're doing today in this class but uh, for this one we're going purely with the designer series paper. Okay, so your kit should look something like this. Um, I, as I say, I've already die cut the um, the flowers. Yours will still be in a single um, a single sheet. Um, plus, I haven't done my weeding, which is very bad. Um, so, with so <clears throat> so many of you wonderful people doing this class, I tend to die cut my leaves in um, like double, like two two widths of or two thicknesses of paper um, just so I don't kill my shoulders with double the die cutting so that's why you might notice that seems to be a fair bit of cardstock left in. Um, now I do make sure that the little um, little weedy bits will come out before I pack it up so hopefully but if you do find one that's um, a bit stubborn and it's ruining the card you don't want to go with it please let me know and I'll send you a another one or obviously this is mossy meadow um mosso medica Mes mossy meadow cardstock if you just if you wanted to cut yourself another one or if anything goes wrong but I'm I'm liking it so far this is weeding really well so as I say I do check them and I, I the card kit that I am using today I pick at random just a sort of little form of quality to control, sort of hoping that the other kits will be okay. So these are all coming out okay, so that's good. Now you're really only going to need sort of this length, that sort of length of, of, of it weeded, so I'm pretty much weeded what I need. It didn't take me too long. So we're going to trim this off. It's, a, it's obviously too long. I think it's a six inch die um, and a five and a half inch card. So you're not going to need it all. I might just stop there and we'll trim the rest off. Okay, there we are. Okay, so that's all weeded. I'll just pop that all those little weedy bits into my garbage bin. Okay, so you've got two of those, one that probably should be okay, probably not need weeding, and the other one might. 
There we go, so you've got two of those. Okay, so let's see what else you've got in your card kit. You've got an envelope, obviously, which I'm not going to need, so I'll pop it out and away. And your card base. Your card base is a funny thing. It's actually just, this is a Blushing Bride cardstock. Um, the card base is five and a half, I've got to remember what it is, six and three quarters, and it's been scored at one and a quarter. So that's where you get that little bit that just shows at the top there. Just that little little bit there um, is just that little top bit there. Then you have then you have another little one and a quarter inch wide piece, and that's the one that eventually goes down here. And then you've got a thicker piece, and that should be, and I've got to remember now, I think two, two one and three quarters wide. Okay, so it's one and three quarters wide. So you put them together, you can see the narrow one goes down the bottom and this is the one that that forms our little cross piece here, just like that. Okay, so let's get started. We might as well pop this together. I'm going to bring out the pieces of designer series paper as well. So this is from the um, a Wash in Beauty designer series paper, this one. So it's got a lovely mossy meadow pattern on it. And you'll notice that the leaves have a direction. So make sure when you're popping your leaves, your paper down, you pop all your leaves heading up all the one way. So it just doesn't look too, too weird. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these little skinny ones and they're going to fit, if I've cut them properly, they fit exactly over the, this more this this more slender pieces, the narrower pieces of card of plus um, blushing bride. So they're going to I had, don't look at them and go, oh goodness, she hasn't left a, a border. It's, um, it's all done on purpose. It was deliberate. So these ones, these front bits of the card are actually covered over completely by designer series paper. So strictly speaking, I suppose I wouldn't have had to use blushing bride for this front bit. But it's nice to see this sort of normal colour at the back. So that one just straight like that. And this one here is going to go on that little top flap that we've left attached. And again, it's going to cover it completely. At least it should if I've done my job. You may need to trim it down a bit. Actually looking at mine, it's actually over hanging the edge a bit but that's okay I'm going to leave that but that again covers that completely that little top flap okay then the best thing to do is to bring in just the designer series the um, cardstock the little the more the wider cardstock and we're going to pop that in the middle between the two the top and bottom so Probably best if you just watch what I'm doing first before you plow on. So I'm going to add a wee bit of glue just to the top part and just to the bottom part. Okay, make sure it's in the centre, so the same distance this side and that side, and straight as you can. Okay, that's about it. Bring it down this one so it sticks to the top and then line this one up this is the one that's sort of flea free flowing at the moment line it up with the card base so it's exactly lined up at the bottom and the sides and then firm that down as well and that will stick your sort of makes a bit of an eye shape doesn't it a capital I okay so that's what we're after there so the reason I'm saying that is because I want it to line up exactly at the bottom and I want it to be straight. And the reason I'm saying that to, to line that up is because if you bring in this extra piece of designer series paper, I've cut it so that that fits into the, the, the exposed piece of cardstock exactly. So it was really handy because it actually sort of, I didn't have to waste any of the cardstock by cutting excess. So it fit pretty much exactly so just pop that over the in over the top in that little gap there and that again should 
cover that middle piece of cardstock exactly without any overflow. Okay, so you've turned your um, pink capital I into a Mossy Meadow capital I. Okay, okay, so the next thing you can do is if you flip the card open and we bring in our two little leafy columns, we're going to position them on the, the left hand side and the right hand side of our capital I. And that one's decided to flick off a bit. Okay, and as I said, you only need you can trim off a good, what, inch and a bit of the bottom because it's too long. So I'm just going to trim it off. But, you know, measure your, for your own first just to make sure you don't trim off too much. And then I'm just going to add some glue to the top wee bit and the bottom wee bit and glue that in. Yeah, a bit too much glue, but that's probably fairly normal for me. Oh, it moved. Okay. So there is one side of our column sure it looks sort of semi straight and then we'll do the same on the other side and again I'm going to trim off that bottom couple of leaves pop some glue on the top and on the bottom and glue that on as well much more um, careful with my glue that time that looked a lot better okay so we've got our columns on either side of our card now I love that that's really nice okay probably um, suggest leaving that aside to dry for a wee while and what we might do while we're waiting for that is we'll stamp our sentiment so you've got a little white rectangle it's a little white stitched rectangle and it fits pretty much all of the I think the happy birthday might be a wee bit long although if you you know you could probably get the happy birthday on there if you really wanted to although it would probably lose its little decorative flourishes at the end um, I'm going to just go with best wishes again which is the one I've done on my original card that's a fairly all-encompassing sentiment and I'm going to use Mossy Meadow ink just to continue that theme through. So this is from the um, from the stamp set. If you plan on just doing this whole card with just the designer series paper instead of stamping the flowers. Um, you could use basically any sentiment from any set, one would assume. Okay, so that's that. So there's our sentiment. As I say, I've got my flowers all ready to go. So if, you're, if you've got the dies, I've just die cut these little flowers from the paper that was in the pack. Um, you need, now I've got to remind myself, I think you need five. I'm missing some, I don't want to lose those, my little bling. Um, you should have five, you should be able to get five flowers out of what I've sent you. I've counted them all fairly import, fairly carefully. And now they won't be five complete flowers, they might be five part flowers, but that's okay because we can hide um, little parts behind things and, and, and they won't even show. But you probably need four to five flowers. Um, at least and um, probably I think I've got one, two, three, four, four leaves there as well so if you can get those three or four leaves from your your um, your pack your paper that I've given you in your pack and four or five flowers as well so I might bring this back assume it's um, it's dry now paper stuck to my fingers 
okay, it looks pretty good. And we can pop our flowers in. Okay, so I'm going to start with the big flowers. So I've got one big complete flower and then I've got a part of a big flower there. I'm going to pop the big one there and then snuggle the part behind just in far enough so that you can't tell that it's cut off. Then I'm going to bring in a sort of a, this little rose. I'll pop that in there. So again, it's going to cover the fact that that rose, this big one is, is a part rose. And then I'll bring in this little one here and that will go in there. So that also covers over the fact that that big rose is, is, has got an edge. It was cut off. So that's, that's what I'm going to go for there, if that's what you can manage that. So I'll glue them down. So be careful with your glue because you don't want to pop it. You need to keep it in that eye shape. Okay, so it's no point putting glue. I suppose you could it would sort of grab onto our columns, but it would get, it could get very messy if you get it onto the back of the card. So position them where you want them and then maybe flip it open and make sure you haven't got card, um, glue on the inside. You don't want your card to stick together. And my other flower. Okay, and then this little one. Now you'll probably have a mix of um, pink and orange and yellow flowers, but they should all match each other really well and really nicely. Hopefully they're all good colours that go together. Okay, so there's our four. Just let you have a look at those. Okay, so I've got a little heart, little part bit there, little one, little half rose, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I could pop it in behind anywhere, but I don't think we're going to need that. I've kept this one for complete, and that's what I, I suggest you keep one complete, um, even though you can use part pieces in, in that main bouquet there keep this one complete because we're going to pop him up there um, anyhow, so we, he's going to be sitting on his own so you don't want him to be um, cut off but we won't do that because I'm going to put that on dimensional so we'll pop some leaves in and around now so we're going to leave one set of leaves for up here as well so we can use the rest in and around our group of flowers Okay, so last little bit, I'm going to grab our sentiment and I'm going to pop that on dimensionals or at least one end of it on dimensionals. Yep, just checking I've done the right thing in the actual, in the actual card. But anyway, let's grab some dimensionals. So the left hand end of it is going to be on that central pillar of our eye. So I will just pop dimensionals sort of at the left hand end and around the middle there just so and leave this end clear because that's what's going to be like a diving board off the end there. We won't, um, we don't want it to stick to anything. So I'm going to pop this just below the join of our um, of our eye so just below the join between those two pieces of designer series paper 
um, and going from the sort of just left of left of middle through to the right. Okay. Then we'll get our our little rows. I'm going to put him on some dimensionals as well. And pop him just, just above it. So partially sort of goes over the um, sentiment box a wee bit, but then onto the actual top of our eye. And again, checking that none of the adhesives are on the inside. There we are. And our last little piece of leaves, I'm just going to pop some glue on that. Okay, so there we are. I like that one. I like it a lot. Hopefully you do too. Okay, so last piece is our bling. So you've got some um, iridescent gems or iridescent, yes, gems I think they're called. And you should have three. So I'm going to pop those just in and around. How pretty flowers. one is done so as far as writing on this one I think with the blushing bride you would be totally fine to write on the inside I would actually try and keep the writing hidden behind the, the flowers and the and the eye that we've made with the cardstock try and avoid writing you know where those little columns are just for neatness but you know that's just me um, but yeah I really really like that one hopefully or you could pop a little you know, if you have a, a narrow piece of white cardstock, you could pop that on there as well, just so it doesn't peek out around the edges too much. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's our first card today. Hopefully you like that one. Um, as I say, you could do this one, of course. You could do this with um, stamped and coloured and die-cut flowers from the, the set. Um, but as I say, you should have enough in your packs to actually use the, the beautiful pictures from the, from the designer series paper. Okay, so that's card number one. I'll just have a bit of a quick clean up and I will be back shortly with card number two. <laughs> 